this truly is the century of science. We are seeing that science, the power of wisdom and knowledge, can transcend social and political concerns to come up with a higher truth. And people will, will get a new understanding. So for me, I think that we will see increased children studying science, probably more medical students going to medical school, and, and a renewed interest in maybe less video games, but more understanding the notion of viral dynamics. So I'm very, very optimistic. I don't think people are going to be afraid of medicine, looking at, at, at physicians who were dying on the front lines. I think that we will see science as part of the battlefield of human evolution and human expansion. And that's where the excitement is. That's, you know, if you want to change the world, science is the domain that lets individuals do that. And it's a very, very exciting time. Anytime I hear the phrase new world order, I always get a little nervous. Um, I think the world will change. I'm not exactly sure what the fundamental dynamics are of COVID-19. I think we're still learning how infective was the virus? What is the true number of patients, the N in the denominator of the equation? What was the, the, the effectiveness of drug therapy, of hydroxychloroquine, of social distancing, of the use of a respirator, of positive uh, and expiratory pressure? All these dynamics are, are being evaluated now. So without knowing what that issue is, I'm, I'm going to hedge on saying what the new world order is, but I think that we're going to see changes. I think that 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 the emergence of of, of a self awareness in terms of vulnerability might emerge. Now, is that going to evolve actionist perspective? Perhaps in some instances. So I think we have to be aware of that. But I think that that global unity of one voice, one world, um, when we see individual countries acting in their own interest, um, will be problematic. So I think we will shine the light on the power of the arbiter. Who is the arbiter? Is it the WHO? Is it the UN? Is it the EU? Maybe it's science. Maybe the role of value validated scientific thinking becomes a little bit higher in the pecking order. You know, when I when I watch the press conferences, I see politicians, um, career politicians, I see people who drive the decision making and then have secondary support or tertiary support from science. So I think that we'll see more of the science. The problem is, is the science right? I mean, you know, look, I can ask you a simple question about cholesterol. Is is bacon good or is bacon bad? Are carbs good or are carbs bad? We can't even respond or answer some of those fundamental questions. There's a lot of controversy around it. So I think that while science may be a powerful, validated voice, that validation might, might be scrutinized and we might come up with new ideas. So scientists are not always correct. They're human. And that's the world we live in. And that's that's really the dynamic that's going to evolve the nature of our humanity and connectivity mediated largely by technology.